Hello friends, welcome to the seventh video on number theory which will talk about division algorithm. We will see what is meant by division algorithm and we will see how the GCD which we have found using the Euclidean algorithm can be expressed in form of division algorithm in this video. Come on, we will quickly move on to catch the definition of division algorithm. Let A be any integer and B be a positive integer. Then there are going to be unique integers Q and R with the condition that 0 less than or equal to R less than B such that A will be equal to BQ plus R. So the main quantity to get over here is I can express the element A in the format BQ plus R where this is going to be a special name which is going to be given for the element called as Q. Q is referred by the name quotient and the R over here is referred by the name reminder when you divide A by the quantity B. Say for example, we have the element 44 which is going to be the integer and is divided by one more integer which is B. Let me take that integer as 13. Okay, so how I can express 44 by 13 in process of division algorithm? What do I do is start dividing 44 by 13. How many times this goes? I know it goes 3 times leaving me with 39. And now this leaves a reminder of 5. So by using the division algorithm, I will be able to express this 44 as 13 which is going to be the quotient and then what you call this 3 as this 3 is called as your quotient. Quotient plus the reminder. What is the reminder? This is going to be my 5. So this way of expressing any element as the product of quotient plus the reminder is referred by the name division algorithm. <coughs> now let us see how we can do the same for an Euclid's algorithm which we found in the last video. We have found the GCD of 1819 and 3587 in this way. I have A, B and when A is divided by B, we have the quotient and the remainder R. Now I need to express this in format of my division algorithm. You need to always keep it in mind by the division algorithm the value of a is expressed as b times q plus r. Now I can express the value of a which is 3, 5, 8, 7 as b times 1, 8, 1, 9 times of q which is 1 plus r which is 1, 7, 6, 8. Now again in the second stage my 1, 8, 1, 9 can be expressed as 1, 7, 6, 8 which is my B times of Q which is 1 plus R which is 51. The next stage my 1, 7, 6, 8 can be expressed as B which is 51 times of Q that is going to be 34 plus this reminder which is 34. The next step I have this 34 sorry 51 to be expressed as B which is 34 times of Q which is 1 plus R which is 17. In the last stage I will be able to express this 34 as 2 times of the quantity 17 plus the reminder which is going to be 0. This way of expressing the values obtained using Euclid's algorithm in the format of division algorithm will help us to find the values for the constant S and T or given by variables M and N of the extended Euclid's algorithm which will be covered in the next video. So make yourself comfortable writing the given elements in the order of your division algorithm. We will quickly catch up with the second problem. So in this case, how will I write 512 as? 512 is 320 times of 1 plus 192. Now 
Next, 320 can be written as 192 times of 1 plus 128. The next one I can write 192 as 128 times of 1 plus 64. The next one I can write 128 to be equal to 64 times of 2 plus 0. So, we have rewritten the elements in the format of our division algorithm. Always keep in mind the last non-zero reminder will be termed as our GCD. So, in the last problem, what was our GCD? The last non-zero reminder which is 17 is nothing but our GCD. If you want, we will do one more problem quickly so that we can be able to directly go on and catch up with things. Problem number 3, find the GCD of the elements. We will take a quite a bigger number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then we will ulta pulta it and find the GCD with 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So what is the GCD of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We will begin with, before beginning I need to check with a, a and B. A is always to be big and my B has to be small. So how will I begin the process? I will now interchange the positions so that my A becomes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and my B becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now I will be able to find Q, A, B and R with 1, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will check if 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is going to divide 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How many times it goes? So over here it goes 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 multiplied by 4 will now give me 4, 9380 on multiplying it 4 times and now the remainder is going to be 4941 so quickly mark the quotient over here with 4 and the remainder 4941 now the remainder is non zero so swap your entries 1 2 3 4 5 and swap your entry with B with R 4941. So now divide 4941 has to divide with the quantity 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many times this goes over here? This 4941 divides the element 2 times and 4941 times of 2 makes it as 9882. On subtraction, this leaves us a reminder of 2, 4, 6, 3. So, enter the quotient here, enter the reminder 2, 4, 6, 3 over here. Now, this is again a non-zero reminder. Swap your entries 4, 9, 4, 1, 2, 4, 6, 3. Now, divide 2, 4, 6, 3 it has to divide the number 4, 9, 4, 1. Now, this goes how many times? This again goes 2 times. So 2, 4, 6, 3 times of 2 makes it as 4, 9, 2, 6. Leaving us a reminder of this is going to be 15. So I can write this goes 2 times leaving us a reminder of 15. Again a non-zero reminder. So swap your elements. So on swapping 2, 4, 6, 3 and 15 over here I divide 2 4 6 3 with 15 how many times it goes 2 4 6 3 goes in 15 164 times so 164 times of 15 is going to be 2 4 6 0 giving us a reminder of 3 so this is going to be reminder 3 and it goes 164. Again, reminder is non zero. So we swap the number 15, 3. I divide 15 
by 3 and I know that it goes 5 times leaving no remainder. So 5 times with no remainder. In which case the position of B gives me the value of my GCD. So the GCD of my given A and B is going to be equal to 3. So 3 is the GCD of the given values. Now how to rewrite it using our division algorithm? We will try to rewrite every line over here using our division algorithm. So what happens is we can redo this as I can express 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 as you will have to take the format BQ plus R. So this is my format. So I write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times of 4 plus the reminder 4, 9, 4, 1. Next, I can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as B, 4, 9, 4, 1 times of the value which is going to be 2 plus the value 2, 4, 6, 3. Next, I can write this 4, 9, 4, 1 as 2, 4, 6, 3 times of 2 plus the remainder 15. Next, 2, 4, 6, 3 can be written as 15 times of 164 plus the remainder 3. And last, I can rewrite, not but last, 164 as uh, this, oh, 160, not 164. Uh, I need to rewrite my A, right? What is in the position of A, 15? So this 15 can be rewritten as BQ. So it is going to be 5 times of 3 plus the remainder will be 0. So this will be the way in which I can rewrite any given quantity or the GCD of any two numbers by using my division algorithm. Hope the video is clear. We will be requiring this division algorithm format over here. What we have expressed for the next video which we will be seeing which will be titled as the extended Euclid's algorithm. Okay, so make sure we are comfortable using the division algorithm way to find what is going to be the GCD of two numbers A and B. Thank you. Happy learning.